An ideal gas is made to undergo the cyclic process shown in the figure on the right. Uh, for each of the steps determine whether each of the following is positive negative or zero okay uh, let's start with a the work done on the gas uh, so as we know the work done um, on the gas uh, is equal to negative p delta v and we can see fr going through a the final volume so this is minus P V final minus V initial. So if we look at process A or uh, uh, step A, uh, V final. So the gas is uh, undergoing expansion because V final is greater than V initial, which makes uh, uh, this positive, which in turn makes work negative so uh, so in process a uh, work is less than zero okay uh, let's go to b clearly here v does not change v final equal v initial which makes their difference zero which makes the work zero there's no change in volume in the gas now for c uh, we can see that V final is less than V initial. Remember, the volume is on the x-axis here. So the more you go to the right, the greater the volume is. So this is less than V initial, which makes the difference in volume negative. But there's another negative here, which would make the work positive, greater than zero. Okay, uh, let's go to the... Uh, uh, change in energy content of the gas okay so uh, change in energy content okay um, this is the change in the internal energy right uh, what's that uh, proportional to that's proportional to the temperature of the system right because we have PV equals N K T okay so it's it's proportional to the temperature of the system and uh, if you if 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 you remember from one of the sections in the book the uh, energy thermal is actually equal to the number of molecules times half the degrees of freedom uh, times Boltzmann's constant times the temperature so the higher the temperature the more uh, the more internal energy change uh, will 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 happen within the system now in process A, uh, we can uh, and we can see here that uh, the temperature is proportional to the pressure and the volume. Now in A, the pressure stays the same, but the volume goes up. The volume here increases, which means the temperature would go up, uh, which means that uh, the change in internal energy in A will be greater than zero. Okay, uh, for so this is for A. For process B, it's true that the volume stays the same. However, the pressure increases, and if the pressure increases from the ideal gas law, the temperature increases. And again, since the change in internal energy is proportional to the temperature, also here, delta U will be positive. In step C, uh, the pressure goes down and the volume goes down because the line slants downwards which means the temperature would go down and if the temperature goes down that means delta u will be less than zero for c negative okay uh, that does it for b now uh, for part c the heat added to the gas uh, let's do this here uh -huh. Okay, so we know from the uh, uh, first law of thermodynamics discussed in this chapter that the change in the internal energy of the system is due to the um, uh, amount of heat that goes into the system, which is Q, uh, plus how much work does the gas, uh, will the gas do on the system? So plus the work. 
uh, actually if I, depending whether we have it plus or minus if I write it as plus some books adopt uh, you know different books adopt different conventions here uh, if um, if, if I, I'm going to use the notation uh, that is um, uh, used in this textbook and uh, so the uh, the um, so so I'm I'm going to uh, so w with this with this notation I'm going to say that uh, the work was done on the system from the point of view of the system. Okay, and uh, so um, so that means so this is the first law of thermodynamics. Uh, which tells me that Q, which is the heat added to the gas, will have to be the change, delta U minus the work. Now for step A, we already said uh, that the work is negative, and uh, we already said that delta U is positive. So if you plug these in, you, you have a minus sign here, so that would make Q positive. So the heat added in the gas in A is greater than zero. Okay, for part B, uh, work is zero. So in this case, delta U is just Q. But we already said that uh, delta U was positive here because the temperature increased. So that makes Q greater than zero. And uh, for C, uh, we said that the work is greater than zero and delta u is less than zero so both terms finally will be negative after you plug in the numbers because you have minus here on the work and so q will be less than zero because you're gonna have a negative number delta u is less than zero and here you have the work is greater than the zero but there's a minus so you're adding two minuses so you will get a minus answer so that means Q will be less than zero. Okay, part D. Uh, or is there a part D? I thought there was. Did I not copy it? Uh, let me check the book one moment. Okay, well, uh, we'll call it part D, but it's not really part D. It's uh, We're just going to answer the question, uh, determine the sign. So let's just call this part D here. Determine the sign of each of these three quantities in the whole cycle. So uh, all together, right? Um, so so th well, the net work uh, will be uh, positive. So a work net will be greater than zero because uh, there's one work that was zero, and uh, there's. Uh, uh, two works uh, one work that was positive one work that was negative but if you were to take the old so so technically when it comes down to it it's the uh, integral of PDV so it's technically the area under the graph so now if I go from uh, through a uh, my work is uh, this area here uh, but uh, going back and and we said that this was negative whatever it was that's for step a it was negative now if I go back through C now look my work is the entire area and so if I subtract these two areas I get the area of the triangle and uh, the area of uh, because it's the red area is a larger area and because uh, through C the work is positive that means the overall work will be positive Okay, now, the, uh, of course, the change in the internal energy through the entire process because of the conservation of energy in thermodynamics, this has to be zero. So we have to go back into the original. And uh, now, uh, so, so 
so zero and now uh, so from these two we know from the uh, uh, first law of thermodynamics that Q has to equal minus W and if the work is positive the network is positive that means Q the heat added to the system Q total uh, will have to be negative will have to be less than zero same amount as the work but negative uh, so so that means uh, the system uh, loses heat energy right um, That concludes this problem.